North Korea issues are, of course, high on the agenda at the Shangri-La Dial Shang Dialogue. On the sidelines, Song Young Mu also held separate talks Saturday with James Mattis. Our Pak Ji Wan filed this report from Singapore. Delivering a speech entitled De Escalating the North Korea Crisis at the forum's plenary session on Saturday, Seoul's Defense Minister Song Young Mu stressed the Moon Jae in administration's North Korea policies and drive to denuclearize the peninsula not only contribute to the stability of Northeast Asia, but also promote global prosperity and peace. He said South Korea's defense ministry will continue to closely consult with the North to implement the Panmunjom Declaration, where the two Koreas agree to cease all hostile acts and turn the demilitarized zone into a peace area. During a Q&A session, Minister Song said he believed North Korea will comply with the international community's demand that it will denuclearize in a complete, verifiable and irreversible manner known in diplomatic speak as CVID. CVID is a promise that must be kept. We believe North Korea, which hopes to be part of the international community, will accept the conditions, as complete verification is beneficial to the North. U.S. Secretary of Defense James Mattis, who also gave a speech on Saturday on U.S. leadership and the challenges facing Indo-Pacific security, insisted the issue of American forces in South Korea is not related in any way to talks with North Korea, saying it's a matter for Seoul and Washington only. Any discussion about the number of U.S. troops in the Republic of Korea is subject to, one, uh, the Republic of Korea's invitation to have them there and the discussions between the United States and the Republic of Korea, separate and distinct from the negotiations that are going on with DPRK. Following their speeches, Song and Mattis held a closed-door meeting lasting around 45 minutes. Song and Mattis expressed satisfaction right after the talks. Their discussions focused on ensuring peace and prosperity on the Korean peninsula and both sides reaffirmed their ironclad alliance. The two defense chiefs also welcomed the results of the two recent inner Korean summits, saying they hoped positive change on the peninsula will create the optimal conditions for the upcoming North Korea-U.S. summit in Singapore. Park Ji-won, Arirang News, Singapore.